system. Now, first of all, what is Tizen? Well, it's a mobile operating system that's designed to be an alternative to the more dominant Android and iOS, but that can be offered at a lower price. Now, Samsung is pushing Tizen on its low-end phones for developing markets like India, but you can also find Tizen on a range of other products, including smartwatches, connected cameras, and various home appliances as well. Now, the Z1 itself is unquestionably a low-end phone. You can see it's got a plastic and chrome effect body, which is very reminiscent of some of the early Galaxy phones. Its 4-inch screen has an 800 by 480 pixel resolution, it has a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core processor, a 3.8 megapixel rear camera, and VGA front camera. All very low-end specs, but then this thing did sell for only around $90 when it went on sale in India. Now, the Tizen software isn't too bad to look at, and in fact, it's quite similar to Android. You can see there are these various home screens, so some apps and some clocks, and down below, there are always these eight apps for quick access, and swiping up brings you to another app tray. There is, of course, a pull-down uh, pull menu for notifications, um, and uh, again, quick access to settings, which is very Samsung. We've seen this a lot on the Galaxy phones before. The, uh, the settings menu is also uh, pretty much the same of what we've expected on a lot of Samsung phones. So currently, the Z1 is available in India and it's recently gone on sale in Bangladesh as well. Uh, it's only for emerging markets and Samsung currently has no plans to roll it out any further. But of course, things could change any time. So do make sure to keep your eye on CNET for all the news about the Z1 and other Tizen products. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and this is a Samsung Z1 running Tizen.